Hey guys, today we are going to try a new MTG Finance format and we are going to talk about a card that has recently spiked and then two cards that can be opportunities because I know a lot of you are more interested in opportunities over something that has already spiked. But what has already spiked is always interesting to me. City of Shadows, which is from the Dark. The Dark was a terrible, terrible set. Uh, it had Maids of If, which later became very good. And it also had Blood Moon. Those two were probably the premier cards for a very long time. City of Shadows. This card has been spiking due to counters. It is very good. You get counters. It is a sacrifice outlet. And sacrificing is not always the worst thing you can do in EDH. Sometimes it's very beneficial. This price spike, I might... It might stabilize, go down a little bit, and stabilize at 15 which is very high for a card at $2 because it's on a reserve list. That itself might be enough. Now, I want to talk about the two cards that are interesting to talk about from a financial perspective, Hardened Scales. So Hardened Scales is around $2.71. It was recently reprinted in Commander 2016, so you see a tiny tank in price. Hardened Scales was bulk until recently. It is very, very good with the plus one, plus one counters. It's one of those mechanics that will only get better in time because there will only be better cards with plus one, plus one counters on it. It's not like they are going to stop printing that mechanic of plus one, plus one counters. They're only going to print better, bigger, and more efficient and cheaper ways to put those counters on your creatures. Therefore, this card for one green is very, very good. It scales quite well. Now, let's talk about the Commander 2016 edition, uh, which is just recently reprinted. Normally, when you see a spike, the Commander edition spikes more. I'm not sure like who is doing that or why they would want the Commander edition more. But when you look at the regular card and you look at the Commander card, if something is going to spike, it will be the commander version of that card, typically speaking. Both are very good. Both see a lot of play in a format that could or could not be dead. I'm talk talking about Frontier, of course. It is a tier 1 deck in Frontier. It is very, very good in ED8s. I like it better in ED8s, but if Frontier does become something, this has tremendous upside. Uh, it's something that I look at where, okay, its price is pretty low. It's at least this much for an EDH staple and green, but the upside is this new format. Plus, it can just slowly grow. Now, talking about slow growth, let's talk about Garuk Apex Predator. This might be the first time anyone's really mentioned him in a long time. And you might be like, wow, why are we looking at this? Uh, first of all, I will throw this out. M15 boxes are very, very cheap and plentiful. It's not hard to pick up one for under $80 online. So that will tank its price. That will make sure the price doesn't go up too much. But there's nothing else good in the set worth any money. So if you look at the price, it was around $7. Now it's around $12. You might be able to get copy for $9. It's pretty much, it's easy to get near mint copies of this because just because it's newer. It's a unique, unique Planeswalker with four abilities. For EDH, where there's plenty of Planeswalkers running around, plusing one to destroy a Planeswalker is pretty OP. That's uh, quite amazing. All four abilities are kind of good. Not o not like OP, but they're good enough. And it, the fact it has four abilities, it does cost seven. But in EDH, seven, especially if you're in green and black, that's very easy to ramp up to. And... Destroying a Planeswalker each and every turn is very good. Plus the fact that you're plusing him, so you can continue to do this indefinitely. So I like him. I like his price at $12. I like his price at $9. It feels like a buy to me. Uh, definitely feels like a trade. And if you're trading for these, your trade partner would be like, okay, cool, I can finally get rid of them. This card has been sitting in trade binders for a long, long time without any real demand. As you can see, it's steadily climbing, and that's why I like to see my EDH staples. I don't feel like he's going to be reprinted anytime. Garuk, as a Planeswalker, 
has fallen out of favor for Nyssa. We see Nyssa everywhere. She was on the posters of Kaladas, which didn't really make sense um, because that was kind of Chandra. But anyway, she was in the posters of Kaladas. She is in the art books. She's being promoted heavily. And then this Garuk dude is nowhere near. Um, and they can only take one green planeswalker, and they typically don't. I mean, when you look at the five planeswalkers, it would be Jason Blue, Chandra in Red, Lily in Black, uh, Gideon in White, and maybe a Johnny as a multicolor dude. But Nyssa is green. She is green. Garuk is no longer green. They cycled him out. So I don't feel like this will be easily reprintable and then in a dual deck or something like that like his plus one ability destroy target planeswalker would imply that you had your opponent your opponent has a deck with a planeswalker in it right anyways that's it guys uh leave me a comment below if you think these speculations make sense or you don't like them if you do love them why do you love them if you don't like them why don't you like them and uh city of shadows uh Try to find those in your bulk bin because I probably have a few in the dark. Anyway, bye guys.